What's up guys, this is Dark Magician here and welcome to another KOL video. So guys, after we received Rock Howard in last month, today's, um, or this, this month's update was all about Billy 14. So Billy 14 is gonna be a new fighter, a new tank as we're gonna see and he's, he's pretty an interesting character pretty much. So without further ado, today's character introduction will be for Billy 14. Okay guys, so as you can see, Billy14 is an API 15 tank. Now the feature says regeneration shield and continuous fight because we're gonna see that he uses a shield which can be regenerated many times. Continuous fight because he, he, he can also do some decent damage as well. So starting with the fates first, we have the weapon expert. We need Billy14, for, uh, Shion and Mr. Big increasing attack plus uh, 25%. South Town team, we need Billy14, Hain, and Overlord Geese increasing HP plus 25%. And Headband Man, we need Billy14, Billy, and Ralph increase, increasing HP by 25%. Per percent. So actually, the fates are not impossible, especially like the first one and the third one are okay. The second one, of course, um, especially with Hain, because Hain apparently will take some time to appear unless they do something else in global. But yeah, aside from that, two fates can be unlocked without trouble. So yeah, uh, his weapon is the uh, Flame Staff and he uses the Gale Badge and the Street Fight Top. Now going to his Fight Soul, his Fight Soul is called the Flame Tortoise Soul, uh, gain 44 Rage when being attacked and gain 44 Rage when attacking, so it's a combination between a Tortoise and a Snake Soul in one. Okay, now going to his skills, starting with the passive fire, Fake Fire Player. Now increase on max HP significantly. But Billy14 can only restore his HP through his own skill. Increase own damage and resistance by 35% and increase the chance of releasing small skills by 40%. When own round starts or Billy14 is deployed, gain the flame shield. Okay, so as I'm gonna post in a screenshot here, we can see his shield, how, it, how is it like. So the HP of the shield will be 15% of uh, Billy14's current HP and 50% of the HP lost. Okay, so it kind of varies from round to round. Of course, depending on when he gains the shield. And 35% of damage resistance will be gained as long as he has the shield. Now, the effect will only be effective for the first 10 rounds of the fight. Now, you would say, okay, 10 rounds is already like the whole fight, but actually, nowadays, we have been seeing many, round, many fights with more than 10 rounds. Sometimes they can go up to 20 rounds. So, yeah, this, this skill is only effective for 10 rounds, which is still okay. If there are less than 6 fighters on one side, like in tournaments, for example, the number is reduced to 6. So, 6 rounds usually are enough for uh, 1 versus 1 fights. Now, if there is more than one fighter on own side when Billy14 is deployed, so in Arena for example, then when the flame shield breaks for the first time, 200 rage of the enemies in the front row will be decreased, Billy14's resistance rate will be increased by 30% and he will be immune to rage decreasing effect for one round. This happens when uh, the flame shield breaks for the first time. Okay, and when Billy14 receives lethal damage, he won't die but immediately will gain the flame shield. So again, he will gain a shield the first time he receives a lethal uh, hit and he will be immune to debuff for one round. If there is one fighter on own side only or Billy 15, 14 is in the front row, he can gain the flame shield again. So in this condition also, he can gain another shield. So if he was the only one in the side or if he was in the front row, okay? If he already has the flame shield, he will absorb the remaining shield each time before he gains the flame shield. So the old shield, let's say, will be absorbed and a new shield will take place. Now what happens to the old shield? In this case, his attack will be increased by 4% permanently, can be stacked with other buffs of the same type. Otherwise, his debuff and petrification will be immediately dispelled and his defense will be increased by 6% permanently, which also can be stacked with other buffs of the same type. So if he had a shield or if he doesn't have a shield, when he gains another shield, there will be some more buffs when it comes to that. Okay, so it's pretty simple, I would say. Uh, increase HP by 40% at level 1, of course, it can go much higher. So it's a pretty good passive, honestly but it can even get better with the lake element. So what the lake element gives now is one, the shield percentage of course improves, but it becomes, he, uh, Billy himself will become immune to burning. So he will become also immune to burning effect. When HP is below 50%, he will gain extra 10% resistance, which also can come in handy being a tank. And in arena, he will become a new immune to rage reduction, not only for one round, but for two rounds, which, which is also uh, good because rage reduction is always annoying. 
In addition to that, he can resist death twice instead of once. And I really focus on that part because that's that's really becoming in handy now. We, we do rely on how much the fighters can resist death. Okay, so two twice are much better than once. When the shield is broken, if the enemy's rage is still full, we, know, we, we have seen that he will reduce the enemy's rage, but if the enemy's rage is still full, let's say if the enemy is also immune to rage reduction effects, for example, um, the decrease attack by 15% and can be activated up to 3 times per battle, so he will do the debuff to him, which is a reduction of 15% attack to that uh, target. The last thing, when he gets a fire shield, he won't be treated as the ally with lowest HP. Now this is an important point here because usually we, kn we know that some, uh, let's say, fighters target um, f opponents with the lowest HP. And we've, we can see, and you're gonna see later when you use Billy or when you see him in action, most of the times you will see him having very low HP but having a shield because he consumes a lot of his HP in a way. So the thing is that he won't be treated as the ally with lowest HP. So that those opponents will not target him, so he will be more resistant in a way. Otherwise, if he if they will always target him as the ally with lowest HP, he will be dying faster. So it's a good addition, I would say, and again, it will get clearer once we see it in action. Okay, so that was pretty much his, um, his lake element and his passive. Now going to his minor skill, Flaming 3 Section Staff Cruncher. So, attack the enemies in a column, increase own block that equals to 20% of the sum of the peers of all targets hit. This is kinda new, but the effect won't exceed 60% of his own block, so he can gain a considerable amount of block. And the effect won't be dispelled. Restore 20% of the HP lost and 200 range, won't be affected by changes of the, in the healing amount, and when rage is decreased, instead he will gain 200 rage immediately. It's a pretty short uh, skill, but it quite comes in handy, especially with the increase of block. The block will be uh, really considered here. So, uh, just also saying about the thunder element, of, of course, in addition to that, there is a 50% chance to stun the main target. And for two rounds, he will share 40% of the damage received by an ally in the back row with the highest attack. So, just... We were gonna see here something with, like dual on, okay? He will be able to share 40% of the damage that the ally in the front, in the back row with the highest attack receives. And he will reduce this damage itself by 80%. So, this way, Billy can protect the ally with the highest attack considerably. And Billy himself won't be affected much because he will be reducing this damage by 80%. So, Billy is not only a tank by himself, but he can also tank or let's say support the ally with the highest attack and this is very important because we do rely on the ally with the highest attack most of the times who we see are basically uh, Hungry Wolf Terry, uh, K or Mature or you know those main DPS's so imagine being able to protect them and make them uh, alive for more time so this will really come in handy okay the third, the shared damage, however, ignores the shield, directly consuming HP. So the shared damage that he will receive will directly consume his HP and not his shield. And that's why I've mentioned earlier that he, he consumes a lot of HP. That's why we see him with little HP, but with some shield. So that's another reason. And when the HP becomes lower than 10%, then the damage won't be shared. And this makes sense because otherwise he can't share the damage. So the thunder element, I really want to spot the light on it because it's very important so i'm gonna go with it till the end when like how, how much you should go on billy but his thunder element is very important okay now going to his ultimate so super fire wheel attack enemies in a column increase own attack defense and block by 20 percent and the skill enjoys the buff of a flame ultimate here it's not actually clear like i'm not sure if they mean that if let's say we have um let's say a, an ally who uh, increases the ultimate damage of fire users or not. I'm not sure if this ultimate is counted as a fire ultimate, let's say. So I, I, if anyone can confirm this, that, that would be great because we were just debating on Discord if Billy is a fire user or not. And I'm gonna mention that why by the end of this video, okay? So, um, and deal, so spend 15% current HP and deal extra damage that is equal to 15% max HP of the main target so he consumes 15% of his HP and he makes the uh, this opponent also 
uh, consume, let's say, 15% of that HP as well. Ignoring the immunity to debuff, increase on ultimate resistance and small skill resistance by 20 to 40%, of course, depending on the amount of HP that he has, such that the lower own HP percentage is, the higher the ratio will be, and the buff can't be dispelled. It's actually very important that the buffs or debuffs like, can't be dispelled in this case. Now, after the weapon awakens, the effect will be improved in all round way. The extra effect will be gained according to the current HP percentage. And I'm just gonna mention that because his weapon will also add a lot. So, going to the weapon now. We've seen that, okay, pretty much there will be some improvements in the number, which I usually don't mention. But the additional thing is that he will get additional effects depending on the current HP that he has. So, if he has 80% HP or less, he will reduce the target's column ultimate damage by 25% for one round and it also ignores control free and trust me less 25% ultimate damage can do a difference so um, that, that this will happen if he has 80% or more 60% HP or less sorry or less not or more if he has 60% HP or less he will dispel the main target's buffs which also is fine 40% or less restore 200 rage to himself and an ally who is not at full rage, which is also important. And if he has 20% or less, he will restore 15% max HP to himself and dispel the negative status for an ally, including petrification. So this will happen if he has 20% or less. I need to mention that if he has, let's say, I don't know, 15% HP, he will gain all of those buffs. The one at 80%, 60%, 40%, and 20% because he has less than all of them. So they will be all, um, let's say, they will all boost Billy. They will also be there for Billy. So that's why I'm saying his weapon is also very important because it does add a lot of stuff to Billy. And again, we're going to see that Billy will face a lot of times with low HP. That's why it can come in handy uh, in this way. Okay? And finally, his smacks, his water element. Again, some buffs, I'm not going to mention them, but the additional effects will happen, you know, the, the stuff that we've mentioned in his weapon, there will be something more um, different here, the, a margin at 50% or less. So if he has 50% or less HP, he will switch to the smacks. He will, do, he will do the smacks in this condition. So he will switch the ultimate to attack the enemy, uh, the enemy with the highest attack. He's not just going to attack a column, he's just going to attack the enemy with the highest attack. For two rounds, when own HP drops below 20% for the first time, will immediately restore 20% HP. So that's also important. We've seen that he will resist death twice. We've seen that he will gain a shield. Now also, when he gets less than 20%, he will restore 20% HP. So more survivability for Billy. That's why it's good to go all the way to the end with him. Okay, as I'm going to talk more about him. One important thing just need to mention here, which is that what does it change if he will target the one with the highest attack simply because remember all those debuffs that he will cause to the target he will be causing them to the ally with them with the highest attack and we know how uh, threatening it is that that ally can be so it's very important that he will switch and target uh, the ally with the highest attack sorry the enemy with the highest attack so his max so, so far is pretty important another margin actually at 40 percent or less one additional thing that they've mentioned is that if Maxima 14 isn't present as an ally or striker, will recover an additional 500 rage to the target ally. So we can clearly say here that Billy more or less is a replacement for Maxima. Because if Maxima is not present, he will be able to restore 500 rage to an ally, to, a ta to this specific target. And if you remember what, ha what Maxima does, he kind of does the same thing. So. We, Maxima should not be present with Billy in the same team if you're gonna go for the smacks and actually I can say that he can be a replacement for Maxima more or less okay so the smacks if I if I should say if it's important or not I would say it is important simply what why because his thunder is also important so I would really recommend to go to six stars with him and unlock the thunder and since you already unlocked him you know unlock his thunder and since he's already six stars you're just one step ahead from the smacks so in this case, it would definitely be a bonus to go for his max, unless you are still using Maxima 14 and you don't want to change him, then no, I don't see a point in unlocking the max in this case, okay? So that was pretty much his uh, skills and his gates, as we've seen. So just to mention his gate partners, which are Yamazaki, Mary, and Geese, finally some good uh, gate partners, pretty easy to unlock, it shouldn't be a problem to anyone. Okay guys, 
So now the question remains, is Billy 14 a good fighter or not? From what we've seen, actually some very detailed uh, skill set, we can see that Billy is a really good tank. And not only by himself, but also after his gates, I really stress on his gates, they really make a big change for him. The, the leg element making him, you know, more um, tanky in a way, surviving death more than once. His thunder protecting the ally with the highest attack. And finally, his smacks also being as a control, he will, let's say, he will make an ally gain 500 rage, which is a lot. So most likely this ally will be able to make an ultimate. He plays a very versatile role, not only as a tank by himself, but also as a support. And that's why Billy14, we have seen him a lot in the Chinese server, and we're gonna see him in global for sure. He is a pretty good tank at this stage of the game. He can survive for quite a while in the game actually, so no regrets if you wanna go for him. Of course, keep in mind that there will be other tanks coming, like uh, I can recall Verse, I can recall Orochi Yashiro for example. There will be some good tanks coming, coming later on, but it's all about uh, you know, picking the one that you really need. So Billy is definitely a good option to go for. Okay, front or back, of course front row, because we've seen that his main role is a tank, and we've seen that he also gains a buff when he's in the front row, so you definitely want to put him in the front row. In which team, again, not really um, doesn't make a difference, because mm, everybody is mostly using the, the not Mizuchi anymore, but uh, the Demon Psyche meta, so some people are still using Mizuchi, but yeah, either way, it's not just specific for any team. So he's a great character actually and it's really recommended to go for him, yet it's not a requirement for any specific team. It depends on your preference eventually. So that was pretty much his major things. Now I still need to mention his runes and his uh, sixth, uh, his fifth fight soul. So his runes actually, it's pretty obvious and I'm gonna say the protector soul. The protector soul simply because we have seen how much block he can receive and how much block he can stack. So if you can make good use of this block actually by increasing it further and making him gain even more rage when he blocks, then I would say definitely Protector Soul is a very good choice for him. Uh, other one would be Heart of Thorns as typical, you know, or um, Earth's Heart. But in priority I would say Protector Soul for sure because he is a blocker and we're gonna see that in, in Arena once you, you guys get him. So that's the recommended rune. Uh, now the, the fifth fight soul actually. Here we were debating about something, but just to mention them, one good fight soul for him would be the unyielding, just typical for a tank. The other fight soul that we were debating on is the Kusanagi flame, because it works for flame users who are not from the Kusanagi clan. And here I went to Discord and asked, so is Billy a flame user or not? But then here we came to realize that no, actually, uh, thanks to Oppai of course, uh, apparently no, Billy is not considered as a flame user, so the Kusanagi flame most likely will not be uh, activated on him. So we just settle with the unyielding then. If you're using unyielding on someone else then whatever, you can use any other fight soul on him. There's nothing else specific for Billy himself, okay? Uh, of course the devil could always be an option because Billy does not rely on the damage that much. He does some damage in terms of percentage, which is nice, but his own damage, let's say, it's pretty normal. So you can actually use the devil on him as well. So yeah, guys, that was pretty much it regarding Billy 14. Of course, the draw is tomorrow. That's why I wanted to do the video as soon as possible, just to cover it before the limited draw. So good luck, guys, if you're going for him, and uh, let me know your thoughts about him in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.